What up, Fraggers? It is December 30th, 2015. It is a Wednesday. I hope you guys all had a great holiday. It's X here. I am taking a little break today from my usual tips and tricks videos to address an issue that a lot of you are having in the forums right now, and I've helped quite a few people fix, and that is the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, R. It's all over the place, guys, and the fixes are out there. It's just we need to get the information out there, and I'm hoping this video will make it a little bit easier for you guys to, to fix your own problems. But let's get right into it and get you guys rolling again here. The air you are is being caused by antivirus in most cases. It is a block of the recent update to Black Ops 3. That's why a lot of you guys were able to play perfectly fine for a while, but then they made the update back on the 21st and antivirus now is starting to recognize it as a threat and it's it's not letting the, the game update. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a game here, show you guys what it looks like. The first thing you can try to go ahead and fix it here. So let's fire up Black Ops 3. And once again, I apologize for the quality guys. I, I was not planning on making a video today. So uh, I'm at work and everything's slow. This is not my usual PC, so bear with me. All right, so you're gonna see this number pop up here on your loading screen here. It should be 43.000 when you first fire it up and you'll, as you'll see right there, mine just changed actually to, I can't read it from here, but 43 point something, something, something. What you guys need to do is when you're loading up, you guys that are getting this air, don't push enter, wait till it gets to the screen with the guy sitting here with the two guns and you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna go ahead and watch that number. That number is gonna sit at 43.000. Wait two minutes, that number needs to change. That is actually the version number of the game. For those of you that are getting the air, that 43.000 means that it's not being able to update. But for most of us, those of us that the game is working, it'll go to that 43.000 for about 10 seconds, then it'll switch. So what you guys need to go ahead and do is just let it sit at that loading screen for about two minutes. If the number changes, great. That means your game updated. You should be able to log right in and play. Now, if your number doesn't change, that means that something's not allowing it to change here. And here we go in step two. We're gonna go ahead and see what we can do to fix that. So let's go ahead and back out here and we will go to Bitdefender. For those of you that are running Bitdefender, I don't care if you said you shut it off or you allowed it through, remove Bitdefender. Okay guys, it's a quick removal and it's an even quicker reinstall. So first thing you wanna do, remove Bitdefender. If you're running it, do the exact same process I just showed you, go into game, let it sit at that 43.000, see if that number changes, and for a lot of you running Bitdefender, it should, and you should be able to get in the game there. Now, let's say you're not running Bitdefender. There are a lot of antiviruses out there, Norton, uh, Avast, there's numerous. What you guys need to do is either completely disable those, but when, in most cases, I always say uninstall them and go ahead and try go into Black Ops here. But let's say you've done all that and X it's still not going through, it's still not working. All right, then we need to check our firewall settings and to make a new rule for our firewall to make sure that Black Ops 3 is able to connect and is able to get through. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go to start. We're gonna type in our little search box here, Windows Firewall. You're gonna click on Windows Firewall Advanced Security. And as you'll notice here, you're gonna see inbound and outbound rules on the left-hand side. What we need to do is go, we're gonna go ahead to make a new rule. So we're gonna click on inbound first. We're gonna to go to action, new rule. Uh, program, you're gonna wanna leave that there. Click next. Program path, that's what you're gonna to wanna to go on here. Click browse, and this is where you're gonna to need to find your Black Ops 3. I already had mine up there, but you're gonna to wanna to find your Black Ops 3 executable folder. So go to your program files, go into your Steam file here and you're gonna to wanna to scroll down into Steam Apps. Uh, Common is the next one you're gonna to wanna to click on here. Find your Black Ops 3, there it is, boom. Uh, and there's my executable. Don't double click it, just click it once and click open at the bottom here. All right, cool, there's your path. So you're gonna go ahead and hit next. Uh, you wanna allow this connection, make sure that it's definitely clicked, hit next. Uh, go ahead and click next through domain, private, public. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and name your, your uh, new rule. So I just named mine Black Ops 3 there, boom. All right. Now, we're going to also have to do the same thing for the outbound rule. So what you're going to see there is, yeah, there it is right there. I went ahead and added it. Now make sure your new rule is in there. We're going to go to outbound rules. You're going to do the exact same process. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete mine. I already have one in there for it. But okay, so here we go. Outbound rules, action, new rule. Same exact thing we did before. Programs, we're going to go ahead and pick our program path. It should already be pulled up there for you. So go ahead and click your executable for Black Ops 3. Next. Uh, so be sure to double click that, allow the connection, all right, and uh, go to next, and we're gonna also name this one Black Ops 3. 
that should fix 99% of you guys out there issues with it. Uh, as you'll see, your firewall is now completely letting Black Ops 3 go through. Uh, so go ahead and load up the game. Remember the number thing we talked about in first. It should change after a minute or two after doing this. And you guys should be set. So hope that helps a lot of you. Have a great day. Uh, if you guys like me or want to subscribe, please do. I really do appreciate it. But I'm not making money off this. I just enjoy talking to you folks. Anyway, guys, have a great holiday. Have a great new year and frag on.